Hello and welcome to Perry's Basics, where our guides are straight to the point and strictly only the basics. In this guide, I will be going over the basics of the Agility Pyramid. The Agility Pyramid is an agility course in the southeastern portion of the desert. As far as requirements go, you will need at least level 30 in the Agility skill to use the Agility Pyramid. Due to the high rate of failure when traversing the obstacles on the Agility Pyramid at lower levels, it is highly recommended to have at least level 50 Agility. As far as equipment and inventory go, it is recommended to wear desert robes or other forms of protection from desert heat. You can also bring a mix of weight-reducing clothing like the Graceful Outfit to conserve run energy. For your inventory, it is recommended to bring food and water skins to prevent damage taken from desert heat. The amount of food you bring compared to water skins may vary depending on your agility level. As a side note, you can also bring energy restoring consumables like stamina potions or energy potions, and if you have the Lunar Spellbook unlocked, you could bring runes for the Humidify spell to refill your water skins. The entrance to the Agility Pyramid is located in the southeastern region of the desert and can be found just south of Narda or just northeast of Sothenim, as indicated by the red circle on this map. The most common methods of reaching the Agility Pyramid are as follows. The first method is by using the Magic Carpet System, which can be found just outside of the Shantae Pass to the south of the city of al Karid. From the Shantae Pass, you will need to take a Magic Carpet to Paldemnich, and then walk south to another Magic Carpet, and then take that Magic Carpet to the city of Narda. At this point, you can walk southwest from Narda to reach the Agility Pyramid. The second method is by use of the Pharaoh Scepter Teleport and selecting the Jalustrophos option. The third method is by use of the second, third, or fourth tier of the Desert Achievement Diary Necklace Teleport, which will take you to Narda. From Narda, walk southwest to reach the Agility Pyramid. The final method I will mention in this guide is teleporting using Fairy Rings by use of code DLQ and then walking southwest from there. Once you have reached the area marked on the map, simply left-click the rocks to climb down. Speak with Simon Templeton in this area to unlock access to the Agility Pyramid. After you've spoken with Simon, climb down the next set of rocks and then up the stairs at the corner of the pyramid to begin the course. When traversing the Agility Pyramid, you will need to move clockwise through each level of the pyramid and left-click any obstacles in your way. Outside of the clickable obstacles, there are moving blocks. You will notice these as you move through the course, and it's best to take mental note of where each of these blocks is. Every other obstacle requires no extra action outside of left-clicking, and failure rate is based on your agility level. If using the Runelight Client, each obstacle, including the moving blocks, will be highlighted for you, making the course a bit easier to navigate and require less thought. Once you reach the top of the pyramid, you can collect the pyramid top by left-clicking the top of the pyramid. After you've collected the pyramid top, continue through to the end of the course and through the door. This will cause another pyramid top to spawn, and the course can be restarted if you choose to do so. Experience gained for completing this course is based on your agility level. Pyramid tops can be traded in with Simon Templeton for 10,000 coins. To do this, simply speak with Simon or use a pyramid top on him. This concludes the basics of the Agility Pyramid. If you require more advanced information on this topic, you can find a link to the official Old School RuneScape Wiki article on this subject in the description of this video. If this guide helped you, please take the time to give this video a like. If you'd enjoy more videos similar to this one, you can subscribe to this channel for easy access to all current and future content provided. To be notified of future content from this channel, you can also left click on the notification bell located next to the subscribe icon. Feel free to leave a comment to make a request for a guide similar to this one, and thank you for watching.